All right, so looks like my hunt is over. And uh, every year I do one of these videos. Um, about my setup. So this year, it's a little different from last year, but I'm using the Sony ZV-E10. And it is a APS-C sensor lens like your A67, 66, 65, 64, 6300 but without the viewfinder, which allows a slightly larger screen, which is nice. Sometimes I like a viewfinder when I'm waterfowl hunting, filming, but in this situation, I don't really need a viewfinder, so. And you might recognize this as the Sony 18-105 F4 power zoom lens for APS-C e-mount cameras um, and since it's power zoom that allows me to use the remote control to zoom in and out um, something new this year for me is this microphone um, it is the Sony ECM G1 Pretty neat little mic mounts to the um, hot shoe, Sony's hot shoe here, and the signal goes through the body, so no cable. But if you wanted to run a cable, and in that case, it would allow you to set the audio settings manually, or if you wanted to put it on a different camera that didn't have the Sony hot shoe, it would work pretty good. For that so um, compact little microphone pretty neat little setup my um, fluid head is the small rig CH20 I had been using the Ulanzi U190 but the last time I had it out the pan was so stiff that I had trouble panning smoothly like I wanted to and what it would do it was so stiff it would actually move the uh, last section of the arm and I couldn't figure out how to lighten up the tension so I'm switched over to the CH20 from small rig which uh, is a neat little head nice and compact very light on the um, pan and you can tension the tilt just right. It doesn't have any what, what I call stiction, um, where you have to overcome friction just to get it to move. Um, and it also has a leveling base uh, on it. And this handle is adjustable in and out. So um, I believe this might be my head of choice this fall. The remote, you'll notice, does not have a cable because this is the Sony Bluetooth Commander remote and uh, it's paired with the camera via Bluetooth um, because this particular camera does not have uh, the multi-port on it. So after I turn it on with the switch on the top, rather than in the front um, since it's paired I hit one button wakes it the Bluetooth remote up but I can uh, zoom in and out with it I can start and stop recording and one feature I like about this is I can use this switch on the side and change it from zoom in and out to manual focus in and out. So you can see my focus peaking lines go in and out as I focus. So 
that's one thing I really like about this uh, remote control because in most situations I have a deer approaching I'm gonna have my bow in my left hand and after I turn the camera on uh, I don't want to have to reach up here and frame my shot and then maybe focus since I'm manual focus um, and then maybe follow along uh, I like to have everything all the functions those functions right here and on the fluid head handle and it's hard to argue with um, that so um, you'll see that uh, I've got focus peaking turned on and what focus peaking does in manual focus is it uses the contrast of uh, the image to outline everything that is in focus in blue or a color of your choice and I probably have it on medium now I should probably turn it to low but uh, you might notice that these leaves close to my stand here are not stealing my focus which would happen if I was using automatic focus so if you're using automatic focus and you're getting your heart broken once in a while because your subject is out of focus because of a branch or leaves or foliage then um, maybe practice with using manual focus because it's not as hard as you think it is it would be um, you can set your aperture just right and have everything in focus um, 10 to 50 yards but not have to worry about anything close up stealing your focus and making your animal subject out of focus or soft focused so uh, the camera arm of course is the fourth arrow triple arm and I'm using the version 2 of the base but version 3 of the shoulder this base is going to stay in this tree on this um, property that I hunt so I don't have to worry about it it just stay here and then when I get in the tree I'll take this and the arm back and forth with me and uh, this is the only thing I have to install with the arm um, so it makes things a lot easier to prepare for the hunt um, when I get to the tree um, another thing about this ZV E10 is uh, on my A7 III it doesn't have the fully articulating um, display and that's what I like about the ZV E10 that if a deer is on my weak side here um, if I didn't have that I, this is what I would have but at least I can take this out um, and do this um, so also if you look at it not including the size of the um, hood here it's not much bigger than uh, say uh, a Canon G50 but it has a much much larger um, much much larger sensor uh, so it would do great in low light and as far as cost goes um, if you find this combo with the lens used you could probably be in around 1100 or so so keep that in mind when you're looking for a camera